smash grab to me, Robert Jordan from Capful of Ghost Electronics. Hi there, my name is Robert Jordan from Capful of Ghost Electronics, and today I'd like to share with you the latest thing that we've been working on. This is what we are looking at today. It's a tool for VJs and experimental video artists that I think you're really going to dig. Now it's not a new video synthesizer or new video effect, but it works really well with both of those. This tool was created to expand the possibilities of working with analog and vintage video gear. And it does this by adding a number of simple features that will greatly improve the way that you work with this gear. These features include two two to one switches, which can, for example, add two additional inputs to your video mixer a dirty mixer for creating distortion and disruption as you transition between two video inputs, a passive sharpener which heightens the edges of your signal whilst dimming the rest for a great effect, and the centerpiece, a loop out bypass function which allows you to, for example, switch from direct feedback to feedback with effects instantly. Now I'm going to go through each of those functions in videos below, but that's just an example of some of the uses for each of these, and they can even be combined together for even more interesting and varied effects. Let's take a quick look at an example of one of the ways that I'm using this before we break down how you can get your hands on one as either a kit or a pre-built unit. So here are the possible setup that I like to use. Now I have my Eddie Roll V4 mixer here, and you can see it's only got four inputs. One, two, three, four. That's great but live and in the studio, I normally like to use a few more channels. And so what I've done here is some external video from over here, uh, which is what we're seeing on the screen right now. And then I also have another source from my rig, an iPad that's up here. And with this switch, I can simply change between the two. They both go into channel one, but now it's as though I have an extra input. The other thing that I use this for, and part of the reason that I created this device, is for the loop out. Now, with a video mixer, if you take one of the outputs and run it to one of the inputs, you will get video feedback. So this is video feedback. Now, I love this effect when it's applied to video because it gives you these really nice trails that come off it. And like with any kind of feedback, it's often more interesting if rather than just going from the output to the input, you introduce something else, another effect, so that each time the video loops through, it has a little bit of that effect applied to it. And that's what's happening here. With this switch, I can switch from direct feedback, which in this case is a lot more subtle and subdued, to the much wilder, crazier feedback I have here, you can get it pre-built as blank PCBs where you have to get all the parts and build it yourself, or as a kit where you will get all the parts and instructions on how to build it yourself. For each of these three options, standalone and Eurorack are available, as well as bulk orders. Eurorack, standalone, some other weird thing you wanna do. This project is great if you want to learn to solder as it is simple and straightforward. I'm really excited to see what people do with this video tool. I found it incredibly useful in my own work and I cannot wait to see what people do once they get it in their hands. Thanks for watching and thanks for backing.